So other countries cannot develop such a missile? No, India is one of the few countries. One Now we can say we are the fourth country to have the supersonic missile. Okay. And rather it is our own okay. to be precise. See, there are countries which are holding the supersonic missile of other countries. Hmm. But uh, when you are using it, you are still dependent on the country which has produced this. Yes. But in our case, it is not so. It is our own. We can say, although it is a Russian missile, mm -hmm. but it is our own. Our mm -hmm. onboard con control system or electronics, everything is ours. Mm -hmm. Nothing is Russian. Russia. Okay. So we have a good faith that you know it will perform much better than the even the Russian missile. Okay. How are the t uh, Brahmos test conducted? We have done number of tests, and you know, tests is a source of learning. Mm -hmm. So almost, uh, I think we have finished 75 flight trials. Okay. And uh, out of the 75, we can say uh, roughly 10 or 15 has failed. Okay. Failed means it is a learning exercise. Mm. I'll tell you, it is not failure. Mm. It is a learning exercise for the DRDO scientists. Why I'm saying this is, you know, we try to incorporate new features into it. Mm. And... Uh, it can malfunction mm. when when it is on the flight path you know okay. we wanted the supersonic missile to sharply turn so we called you know the s yes shape it mm. should take why yes is the wave points we told it this is a wave point it should take a turn drastic mm. turn at a supersonic speed you cannot expect the missile to turn so sharply okay. so we wanted the s yes type of uh, this one and uh, it was taking a c type Okay. Then we told there is some wrong in our software. We corrected the software. Mm -hmm. Then when the second trial went, mm -hmm. it was yes. Okay. So. But you know, there is a joke uh, again in this. In uh, Russian, the letter C is called yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they uh, So we used to say, see it has achieved. Okay. Principally it has achieved the objective. We wanted yes, yes, but it has done the C. But as per Russian C, it is yes. Uh -huh. So the missile has passed, we used to say. <laughs> but that was only a joke. But you uh, know, this was all corrected and uh, there is a deep uh, mountain dive. That means mm -hmm. the missile has to rise to the mountain and immediately dive. That is a V. Uh -huh. So it is a supersonic missile at that speed, you know, taking a V type of uh, dive. Mm -hmm. It is not possible. So we have done that also. Mm -hmm. And uh, Russians were stunned. They realized, you know, the technology, what we gave them, mm -hmm. they have put it into a multi-fold. And uh, now we are in the multi-platform mode. Mm -hmm. See, I can launch this missile from a silos. Silos means in the earth. You can just uh, uh, close it to the basement level and it will just get off. Okay. Because all these missiles are canisterized. That is the advantage of this missile. You can store wherever you want, mm -hmm. even into the oil field in IOCL like that, you know. If you want to protect your oil field, you can mount it on the pillar, one of the pillar and leave it. Mm -hmm. So when there is a threat, you know, you have to only press the button, it will take off automatically. Oh, nice. Fit and forget. And uh, all these missiles, you know, once you have fitted and uh, tested everything, mm -hmm. you need not uh, be after it. Okay. 15 years it will function. Okay. After that only you have to just take it out once and do the health checkup. That is called, uh, we are giving like a life extension okay. after 15 years. Because now Brahmos, I'll tell you, mm -hmm. what we did 20 years back, mm -hmm. all those missiles are coming for uh, recheckup. It is like that. So we check the missile. Mm -hmm. If it is all right in all aspects of electronics and uh, other things, we just give a random extension of another five years. Mm 